Mitch moaning about how long this is taking. Tell him I'm going as fast as I can. Mitch is the least of your worries. Ah! <sighs> uh, what do you think Mick is going to say about this? Uh, he better not have broken my nose. Somebody called the police. Claimed I was drinking again. And now they think I've been abusing Annie. Yeah, and you think it was me. I don't know anyone else who could be that vindictive. Do you not think that there's an element of truth to that claim? I mean, you were drunk behind the wheel of a car with your daughter in the back. Isn't that a form of abuse? I know it was you. But I'm not the only person that was disgusted with your behaviour. You obviously don't know people around here very well, do you? What are you say? What do you know? Oh, all I know is that Annie is better off away from you, just like the rest of your kids. You bitch! No! You bitch! Me! Get me inside! What is going on here? She just went for me. I don't know why. Because I think she's broken my nose. It was her. It was her who called the police who got Annie taken away. Don't. Don't even ask me the question. I know how painful it is to be without your child. How can you be taken in by her? Because I'm telling the truth. Do you know what? I didn't make that call. But give me one good reason why I shouldn't call them now and tell them exactly what you have just done to me. You would. You can't go round attacking innocent people. You can't. You can't. It's been a tough day, I know. And you cannot ring the old bill. You're going to make it worse for all of us, OK? That's the last thing I want. Look, I swear on Scarlett's life that I didn't phone them. You can, you can call and ask, ask for a recording, check my phone. I'm sorry, Linda. I know that you would love it to be me, but it wasn't. Somebody else made that call.